Consumer warning tonight from Spire. The utility says misinformation being shared on social media has some customers going to great lengths in an attempt to get out of paying their utility bills. Contact Who's Mike Colombo explains why Spire says it's a waste of time and money. It's gotten a little more concerning lately because we're getting about one a day. Spire Vice President of Customer Experience Christopher Galliano is referring to materials like this. They send in their bill stub and they'll write some information on the bill stub, usually from the Uniform Commercial Code. They will attach IRS Form 1040 or 1041. In a lot of cases, customers are getting that information notarized, and then they're sending it to us via certified mail. Galliano says Spire customers are doing this in response to posts they've seen on various social media platforms. The folks who are sharing this information are saying that they are financial experts. They're quoting things like the Uniform Commercial Code of Federal Reserve, and even in some cases telling customers to send in an IRS Form 1040 or 1041 in lieu of actually making a payment for their bills. Simply put, Galliano says people are wasting time and money on this effort. I can't really talk to the legality of the information that these posts are, are communicating, uh, but I know in terms of your regular bills, it just doesn't apply. So it is just purely misinformation. When a customer establishes service with Spire and a utility, they're really entering into an agreement for service. And when they get their Spire bill, uh, that bill is a non-transferable instrument, which basically just means that you can't pay it with a voucher, a form, or a coupon. The way to pay the bill is through really regular payment methods like credit card, debit card, check, or even cash. Galliano tells us most of the materials Spire has received have come from customers who need assistance paying their bills. He wants customers to know there is a better and more effective way to get help. If a customer is struggling to pay their bill, we really do urge them to give us a call. And we have that number and all the other information you need along with this story on Fox2Now.com. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox2 News.